Hello. This is Tech Address. Here we summarize happenings in the ever-evolving techverse. So let's get started. A new leak showing off Android 12 has appeared just before Google I.O. The video shows what appears to be a new user interface with new widgets toggles and stacked notifications. There is also a new keyboard design and a new lock screen with a larger clock. Twitter Blue is a subscription service that Twitter is working on that features a new function called Collections and an Undo Tweet button. Collections will let users save and organize their favorite tweets. The Undo Tweet button will let users cancel tweets up to a few seconds after sending the message. Twitter may bundle scroll with Twitter Blue which would remove ads from the subscriber's feed. The service is still in development so details may change before launch. Amazon has reportedly offered $9 billion to purchase MGM the film giant that owns a historic catalog of films. An array of production and distribution companies and the content network Epics. MGM has been up for sale since December 2020. It has a library of 4,000 films and 17,000 hours of TV. The James Bond franchise one of the most valuable film franchises ever made will be part of the deal. Nunu is an app that lets its users make decisions for creators. Creators can set up accounts and then make polls for followers who pay a fee to vote on the outcome. Followers can also pay to ask creators for extra perks. Creators are free to reject bids and refund followers. Nunu boasts some heavyweight investors such as Peter Till and Dreesen Horowitz and Will Smith. China's Tianwen-1 probe has landed on Mars. Its Jurong rover will exit the lander within the next three days and start exploring the Red Planet. The rover has a mass of about 240 kilograms. Comparable to NASA's Spirit and Opportunity rovers. This is the first time China has sent a spacecraft to Mars. Tianwen-1 arrived into Mars orbit on February 10 and spent three months collecting images of its landing site the large Utopia Planitia Impact Basin. A vulnerability that allows for third-party tracking across different desktop browsers on the same device has been found. The vulnerability affects Tor users. It allows for targeted advertisement and user profiling without consent. The exploit has been possible for more than five years. Until it is fixed. The only way to have private browsing sessions not associated with your primary device is to use another device altogether. Lima launches Linux virtual machines on macOS. It features automatic file sharing, automatic port forwarding, built in support for containered, and more. Lima has not been tested on ARM processors. But it should work. Cloudflare wants to get rid of CAPTCHAs completely by replacing them with a system called Cryptographic Attestation of Personhood. The system uses physical security keys and offers improvements in speed and accessibility. Cloudflare is currently testing the system on a limited basis, and it is looking into other authenticators as well. Well that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.